Hi! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Slides for mind mapping. Mind mapping is a powerful technique for brainstorming, organizing ideas, and visualizing concepts. Google Slides, with its versatile design tools and easy sharing capabilities, is an excellent platform for creating mind maps. Whether you're planning a project, organizing your thoughts, or teaching a concept, Google Slides can help you create clear, interactive mind maps. Follow this step-by-step -step guide to learn how to use Google Slides for mind mapping. First, create a new slide deck by opening Google Slides and starting a new presentation by clicking on the plus button. Then, click on Untitled Presentation at the top left and name your documents such as Project Planning Mind Map or Marketing Strategy. Next, you have to adjust a slide size, depending on your preference. You can adjust the slide size to better fit your mind map. To do this, just go to File, Page Setup, and choose Custom to set the dimensions. If you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my video to other nerds like us. Then, to find the central concept of your mind map. The central node is the core idea or topic of your mind map. Insert the shape, a circle or a rectangle in the center of a slide by clicking Insert, Shape, and then Shapes, and then add the text to the central node. To do this again, double-click inside the shape to add text. Type the central concept or idea such as Project X or Marketing Plan. Next, customize the central node by adjusting the font size, color, and shape. Click on the shape and use the toolbar options to make the text bold Change the background color or add a border. Then, create branches. Branches connect the central node to subtopics. Use insert, line, line or arrow to draw lines extending from the central node. These lines represent the main branches of your mind map. At the end of each branch, insert a shape, an oval or rectangle to represent a subtopic. Just click insert, shape, and choose the appropriate shape. Then, double-click inside each shape to add text. Label each subtopic with key ideas or concepts related to central themes such as budget, timeline, or marketing channels. Then, adjust the color, thickness, and style of the lines and shape to differentiate between different branches or to emphasize certain areas. Use consistent styles to keep the mind map visually organized. Then, color coding helps distinguish different sections of the mind map. Assign different colors to branches, subtopics, and secondary branches to visually organize information and make the map easier to understand. If certain subtopics or ideas are closely related, group them together visually by using shapes, borders, or background colors. This can help to cluster ideas and show relationships. That's it! Hope you learned something from this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of this. See you again! next time.